So our new open source simulator project we're calling OpenVetSim, and it will be hosted on vetsim.org, a website where we'll share the software and all the plans for the hardware for our new simulator. So these simulators that we're currently using, we developed by taking a human patient simulator, taking it apart, and putting the pieces into this commercial canine mannequin, and we're still using that one. We're in the final stages of development of our own new simulator, and the reason we decided to do that is because human patient simulators are absurdly expensive. Um, so we bought the cheapest one we could find, and it was about $25,000, and then we tore it into pieces, um, which really upset the purchasing people here um, because it no longer had a warranty on it after we did that. Um, and and it, it's worked very well for us. It's been a good system, but it had limitations in terms of um, really modeling the kinds of things we wanted to model in dogs and cats because dogs and cats are not just little people. There are some unique things about them. And we also wanted this technology to be more widely available. We're, we're very lucky to have this resource here. Um, and you know, there's a part of me that thinks, yay, Cornell just has it and nobody else can have it. But, um, but I do think that in the broader context of veterinary and veterinary technician education, this type of teaching, I think, is critical. And this is how we move to the next level in our teaching. So we really wanted that to be more widely accessible. Um, so we decided to take this project on. And we were very lucky to get some funding first from the Triad Foundation, then from the SUNY Inno Innovation Instructional Technology um, Grant Program, and then from the USDA um, to actually develop our own system. And we've taken, a, I think, a really exciting and interesting path in that we're making everything open source. So all the software for the new system is going to be available on our website, vetsim.org. And it's all open source, so anyone who wants to can download it and add to it and hopefully share it back to the community. And then the hardware design is really based on easily accessible components that you can order online, really, from lots of different places. And really, to, des to build a simulator like this, the software is free, and you're probably looking at about $1,500 in hardware, rather than that $25,000 system that we had to buy. So we're really excited about it. We're almost done with the first, uh, the first design. We actually are currently building um, the one for us, one for SUNY Delhi for the, tech the veterinary technology program there, um, and also one for the University of Melbourne, where a collaborator of mine is, is working as well. So we're going to have it out in a couple of places to do some beta testing, and then we'll open it up to the world so that anyone who wants to can access it. Our goal is that this will be like many open source projects um, in that people can download the software and build the hardware and then they can make modifications and share those back with the community so that we can all benefit from other people working on it. So I'm really excited about where that's going. Um, and we have a little website that we're working on now called vetsim.org um, where we'll be hosting all of this and, and sharing all of this. So I think it's a really exciting project and I think um, is really playing to the collaborative strengths, I think, of the veterinary education community. So we're very excited about it.